And hello, talking to you today from a football stadium that really could pass for a museum, the Olympiastadion in the German capital, Berlin. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It is Hertha Berlin, and they take on St. Pauli. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the lineup for Hertha. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10, and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation without wing backs, which means the outside centre halves will need to cover the areas out wide which I would say is asking a lot. And the match is underway. in and after the cross a tremendous block who can they pick out and the problem not completely solved. A chance to whip it in. Now the pressure being exerted. Kenny. It's with Tussar. showing good defensive judgment can they create something from here and struggling to get the shot off but nothing comes of it good defending it was Lukas Daschner. Florian Niederlechner. Well read to win possession back. Hartel. It needs an accurate cross. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Now the delivery, not quite the clearance they were hoping for. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic.
Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. in the centre and a goal kick given well he's been a long way from his best up front Stuart yeah he's just not found his form today he doesn't look quite right unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper they're going to lose this one Well, getting very close to the half-time interval and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. And off the post and pushed onto the woodwork. And that brings to an end the first half here at the Olympiastadion. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Very quick thinking there. Conor Metcalf. Piata doing well to regain possession. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Really good block. Niederlechner. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Jackson Irvin. How can they make one of these passes count? Excellent defending. Toussaint. Florian Niederlechner with it. Oh, showing excellent vision. Is it going to be? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Metcalf. 20 minutes to go. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Smith on the ball. Hartel. Jakov Medic. And Eggestein here. Difficult to stop him. Can he finish? Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now! And the lead fully merited! Here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike.
Two nil now, and back underway. Just ten minutes to go. Jean-Paul Boetius. Will he find the net? Still a chance. Oh, a goal to reduce the deficit. My goodness, that gets the pot boiling. It's not over yet. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Smith has it. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Hartel. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.